Well, hello, Schmodown fans. Welcome to another edition of Inside Schmodown. I'm here with my guest chugging his protein drinks already. This is from the movie, guys, Paul Preston. How are you, sir? Ken. Yeah? Damn decent, thanks. Damn decent indeed, sir. Yeah, man, why not? We're, 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 can, what are we going to do? Talk about the Schmodown? Talk about movies? What, what kind of mood should I be in? Awful? <laughs> Hell no, this is fun. This is good times, man. Ah, uh, I love this uh, presence. I've, yeah. I've, uh, I've known of your work for a while now. You've been around this space. You've been doing a lot of things in this town. And one of the things you do do well is trivia about movies. Right. This is a natural fit for you. I'm happy you're here. Let's start from that point. Well, I've been watching movies my whole life. You probably yeah. as well. Yeah. Now I have a purpose. Put this on your <laughs> no. poster. The Schmodown has given my life meaning. <laughs> now I watch them, sure, for entertainment, but also there's a bigger goal in mind when I watch stuff to try and, yeah. you know, retain. Look, I've been retaining pointless information my Useless. entire life. Useless. It, it just it means nothing. Schmodown. Except, I could live now. Yeah. Paul Preston. Now it finally means something. Right? When I was a kid, yeah. my mom would say like, hey, you know, how come you know so much about, uh, you know, gremlins, yeah. but you don't know anything about social studies? Right? And I'd what say, are social that was studies? It. That was it. I threw everything in a tablecloth, yeah. put it on a stick, and stand by me my, my way down the railroad. I was done. I don't need that. You right? don't need that. I like movies. I take movies over everything. Uh, that's a great idea, a great thought process to, to, to run into this game with. Movies yeah. over everything. You have a lot of knowledge, but let's let's talk about the truth here. You uh, and your partner, Adam, movie guys. Yes. Come in here. Now, your, your show, movie guys, you have a lot of cast of characters. You, uh, you know, I remember going into a room, you had like 12 people in there. We had we had 12 as well with the yeah. schmoes, and it was just like a cavalcade uh, the of Toad characters. Hop Network. The Toad Hop Network days. Yeah, um, those were great days. You, you, great days indeed, yeah. but uh, you and Adam come in, and I got to tell you, I, you were taking on Eki in the Brain, and I had I was at the announcer desk, and I got to admit, I, I like both you guys. I thought there's no way they're losing. No way you're losing, but you do. Yeah. Where? Uh, what? It, take me through that first match. Well, that stung. First of all, Adam was, uh, the question was put to the group. 1980s horror movie, Jeff Goldblum, Gina Davis. He says right. vibes. Now think, Ken, you know. I mean, I don't even Vi know it, but. You know, you vibes will never yeah. be the answer to a question <laughs> ever on the <laughs> ever. Schmodown, right? Ever. Into the Night has a better chance of yeah. being the answer to a question <laughs> in, in the Schmodown than vibes. And vibes. So he feels bad about that. I think he's aged uh, considerably since that <laughs> match. And, uh, you, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh, but, but then. Uh, you know, uh, wheels were set in motion to try and avenge that. So, but I, it, it was hard. It was rough. Well, yeah, you go. You guys have to go. Uh, you got Inky in the brain. Uh, you know, and, and, and this is nothing against them as competitors or talent, but it was a bit of an upset. And and that's got a. What do you and Adam say when you walk out that studio door and get into what probably your rented Subaru and then head home? What do you? What do you t say to each other? Well, first of all, Ken, I'm upset that you wouldn't think that we would have the stones to own a Subaru. That's true. We do. I, we I do. <laughs> well, immediately we hit the flashcards, right? I mean, you that's hit, what everybody yeah. does. You hit the flashcards. You start the. You go to Amoeba. You know. Yeah. You know that sound in Amoeba music. If you don't know, this is a used. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. People flipping through the the DVDs. Yeah. Kids, back in the day, we used to have to watch movies on plastic things. That's right. Yeah. DVDs. Uh, before that VHS, mm. you know, and it would have the same sound to go through. Nowadays, you know what? Let's bring that up for a second. Yeah. I don't like the fact that anymore I can go into somebody's house yeah. and not judge them immediately on their DVD. Collection. Right away. Right. You're hiding all your stuff on a, on a computer. Oh, I don't yeah. know what you're all about. You know, you know, our, our cameraman right now, uh, Brandon, you know, if, if I was walking in the house, he'd have VHS copies of Fern Gully. And I'd be like, F you. Yeah. F you, man. Right? Like, if I go into a house and I see Midnight Run, I'm like, this guy's all right. This guy's Because good. there are two types of people in the world. Yeah. You either love Midnight Run or you're a douchebag. Right. I mean, I think that's a fact. And you, and you know that upon entering their house. Yeah, absolutely. So, you guys, revenge is on the mind, but it's not come uh, in the form of teams. You, you take on Rachel Silvestrini. You get a big victory. How did that feel? Revenge is as sweet as your powder drinks? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that was my thing. I was going to do this for the team, for Adam, for the movie guys, for our 10-year-old entity. Yeah. I was the I was going to have to go and avenge us. And, you know, yeah, I felt a little Captain America you that day. I'm not going to lie. You felt like a hero. Mm. I think I, I would consider you a, a hero. I think you did the Lord's work that day, and I, I think it's good. Uh, uh, revenge is good. Uh, that's a big win uh, on this team loss. Free for all, the big event. You you did okay. How do you feel about that? That's yeah. a, anything can happen in that event. I, that doesn't. Listen, I said I wanted to be in. A, I wanted to have a memorable moment. Mm -hmm. 
And what happened was I was at the table when Bibiani swept the clean of everybody. Right. Right. He did a full table sweep. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I was talking <laughs> about when I wanted to be memorable. Right. Right. But nevertheless, it happened. And, you know, that actually was my first match, my first ever appearance. First of all, everyone doesn't know who I am. They, yeah. think, I, they think I'm old Christian, right? Like I've come <laughs> from the future. But let me tell you something. Christian <laughs> runs the schmo down. <laughs> I, I'm not old. That guy is a try. Do, that's yeah. a stressful job. That's guy looks job. like a tree. He looks. I like, am Groot. Yeah, he looks right? like a president in the seventh year of their uh, exactly. reign. And, and, it's, <laughs> and it wasn't due to voting. It was like the other candidate died, and he just stuck around and had to continue to run old, things. Great Scott Christian, I've come to the future. Yeah. Nevertheless, mm. uh, yeah. Some, some people uh, thought I looked like him. Some people thought I was Bateman. They didn't know what to make of me. They didn't right? know. Well, I didn't stick around long enough for them to even have an idea. So <laughs> these uh, later matches, people uh, I think get to understand mm -hmm. that we love movies. We have fun. You know, these guys who walk around all angry and everything. They, uh, I, I was going to ask you about that because because uh, you you and Adam uh, showed up right away with some character. Uh, I know you got a lot of different uh, experiences and skills as a performer, but you come in here. Yeah, you aren't angry, but yet people seem to be treating you as if you're uh, on on the bad guy side here. Uh, wh what does that make you feel? Because it does seem like you're a nice, you're a nice cat that wants to come here and answer some questions. You know, people think I'm a bad guy. Well, it just it thinks you know the, they don't know what to, I don't know if they know what to make of you. Uh, they're running Cause, scared because I like you. They're running scared. Not Paul Walker running scared. Yeah, Heinz and Crystal get running scared. Oh, that's good, right? They, hey, Remember listen. Moscow on the Hudson? Hmm? Moscow on the Hudson. Uh, Paul Mazursky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I used to know Mazursky at the farmers market. Oh, I believe that's where you would find him. Yes. I believe that. Absolutely. Uh, that's a 100% true story. I don't think he's still with us. Is uh, he he is not. He uh, passed God away. Bless him. Um, <laughs> but listen, I don't wear black. I don't wear sunglasses. I'm not like yeah. always stay. You ever play uh, You ever play uh, the five card, not five card stuff, Uno? the other one, poker, the Texas, Texas Hold'em. Hold yeah. You ever play that? I, I play more Uno than that, but I have played this it. It's about as much fun as a stick. Everybody's yeah. sitting there like this. Serious. Yeah. Craps is my game. Why? Because it's social. It's fun. In fact, it's not so good because after a while, you forget that you're gambling. When you're 300 down, you're like, I'm having hey, fun. But you realize I should have been paying attention. But nevertheless, yeah. it's more fun. It's the thing I want to do. That's how I want to play. I'm not the guy who sits around like this all the time. At least I think With guys glasses there. on. Yeah. And see, I think this interview here might uh, get people to start paying attention to who you really are and not what they want you to be in this league. Uh, I know we got these wonderful, uh, we got a lot of feuds, we got we got stories happening, we got drama, but I, I really look at you and Adam as just two two good blokes showing up here to answer questions about Jeff Glob Goldblum films or trying to get those uh, questions. Yeah, well, yeah, those... Uh, but I guess that, maybe that, that it's should the, be what we study next. It should be. Uh, but I guess it's the powders. It's, it's also you've taken on uh, Rachel and uh, Devon were a positive, uh, well liked team. So maybe that's just naturally setting you against some of these kind of characters. Well, as much as that, that, you know, we went against them and then I avenged, and when that was a whole thing, yeah. they're fun. They're fun. Yeah, of the groups that are here, you know, they're fun too. So you know, I think that was a especially enjoyable match to, to watch. You got a big match coming up here, though, because the professor, Lon Harris, who is one of my favorite people in the league, because I think he's he's educating the people out there. Um, you've uh, you've uh, agreed to go into the ring with him here. Uh, what do you think about the professor, Lon Harris? Well, clearly, I have to go and, you know, look up my Godard mm -hmm. and, I'm, and my but you guys don't ask Godard questions. That's the thing about him. As much yeah. as he knows about all these uh, fancy, you know, tru Truffaut direct. You're never going to ask those questions. Yeah. these It's like it's going to be Balto these, or something. With these questions, it's like sometimes when I sit here, <laughs> exactly. I think that, yeah. you know, who's writing the questions? Brandon Meyer? It's Skalisku. It's Skalisku sitting at a Hardy's booth in the corner outside St. Louis, dreaming of Stan Musial and Willie McGee and all his favorite Cardinals, and he writes these questions designed to hurt corruption. Never, don't give me Okay, started. I have questions for you. Yeah, yeah. All these sports references. Who's yeah. your team? Because you you know everything about York, all sports. New York Yankees. Oh, get I'm out a of California here. New York Yankee fan. But, get. you know, I can make a, I can, I'll make a reference to Red Shane Dates, Cardinals. I, I grew up Yankees, but then yeah. what, what, what was there to root for when they were just, uh, I mean. Too good. Uh, They're the definition of what you're supposed to do. I was, a, I was a Reggie fan. Reggie became an angel. I've been an angel fan ever since. California Angels. Yeah, great. Brian Downing, night. good biceps. That's true. That's right. The big, big, uh, ugly, uh, the big, ugly teams are great. The Phillies, the Angels. <laughs> And I'm the impressed big, with your breadth of knowledge in that respect. The big ugly teams are the best, yeah. and I'm one of the biggest ugliest uh, people around also, here. Uh, uh, pit yeah. boss, pit boss, yeah. Is there wagering? 
Uh, no, not yet. I don't know if we're allowed in this state to gamble on Schmodown, but if we do, you know, I'll be there changing out the money. Yeah. You know, we'll do it. Paul, we're almost done here. Yeah. I want to wrap up, though, with this thing. I want you to talk to me about goals. I want you, you've, you've, you've done a lot to let people understand who you are, but you're here to compete. I know you, uh, at Adam, take it seriously. I know you as a singles competitor to take this seriously. What are goals for you here in the movie trivia show now? Well, listen, what's everybody's goal? What do you think? Uh, probably to have more donuts. My, oh, your goals. Win. Yeah, outside of that. Win, win, win. It's win. You're turning me around here, though. The answer's Ken. win. Yeah. Yeah. Because the donuts are provided by the Schmodown. Yeah, I didn't get any today. RB3. Yeah, and I goofed on, you know, Christian, but please yeah. keep the donuts coming. Yeah. Uh, listen, belts, right? Belts. That's titles. the only way you get respect. Championships. Yeah. yeah. Belts. Cut. So, I mean, I, I don't want my pants to fall down. Yeah, no one wants their pants to yeah. fall so down. So, between the two, I don't want to show my ass. And I want to have a, a belt. Unless you're at those kind of clubs. Um, Paul, uh, I really appreciate you coming on. I like Pleasure. what you bring. I like what you do. Uh, we have fun here. We have a lot of fun. You have fun. Uh, I, I have, I'm all right. I have sometimes have fun. But uh, I'm glad you guys are here. And I hope the fans out there listening get to know you a little better. Wait a minute. A second, little better. Now they bring yeah. it up. Yeah. You, you, you back these uh, angry guys. I do, What's your team? The angry guys? Right? I do like anger. That's your team. Anger is a valuable thing um, when you're driving, waiting at a CVS. Um, so, yeah, I know. That's their, your faction, though. I see you walk out with Corruption. angry guys. Yeah. yeah. I, I have sunglasses. I'd like to take down angry guys. That'd be fun. Oh. Have a little more fun. Well, then you and I could find ourselves on the opposite end of the spectrum, but we'll still shake hands after. We'll go down to our favorite diner, the Coral Cafe, All and right. we'll have a good time. Guys, this is Paul Preston, Movie Guys. Tell them where to find the Movie Guys, because you guys do good stuff over there, including oh, the an movie. interview uh, with me. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He came on and he talked about the Star Wars book, a quality yeah. book with a great uh, hook that you haven't seen before, a new and interesting way to talk about Star Wars. We were happy to have you on for that. I like this. Uh, we have a Star Wars podcast called Countdown to Nine, where we're counting down to the episode nine. We've got a, a sports movies podcast. We'll have you on for that, too. Talk, we'll talk about angry, movies. ugly baseball players. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, the movieguys.net. That's where we've been doing reviews, articles, uh, podcasts, interviews, red carpets, uh, and uh, all manner of nonsense for about 10 years now. They're great. Check them out, the movie guys. And you guys want to check out more information about yeah. the Schmodown and them? Go to the movieguys.net. Go to TriviaSD.com. Get information here on the movie Trivia Schmodown. You want to go with the live events coming up? Go to the SchmodownLive.com. Support on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Schmodown. Maybe we should have your recipe as a Schmodown uh, reward tier. The Paul Preston Protein Drink uh, uh, a recipe. I, I'm going to talk to some. I'll talk to Emma. Let's do it. All right. That is it for this week. I'm the Pit Boss. That's Paul Preston. For uh, my producer, Brandon, uh, and, and RB3, who did not get me a donut, we'll see you next time here on Inside Schmodown. That's great. What do you, uh, do you, what, you just mix it in subtly. Oh, I like fruit. That. Fruit's fruit. the key. Yeah. Fruit's the key. It'll wake you up. I like that.